The Black Voters Matter Tour made its first stop in Mobile this afternoon at Mardi Gras Park. The National Voter Outreach Initiative is to reach black voters in the weeks leading up to Election Day. Amber Grigley explains their voter engagement goal. Black Voters Matter. That's the message this group has been spreading all across the state of Alabama as we get ready for November 3rd elections. A powerful message to encourage more black Americans to get out and let their voices be heard. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. We want better schools. We want quality education for our children. We want quality housing. We want good paying jobs. At the end of the day, when somebody says, I don't want to vote because I think that the, that the system is rigged, there's some truth to that. When they say, I don't want to vote because like I, I voted for people and they haven't produced results. There's some truth to that. A painful reality amongst black Americans that lack trust and value in the importance of voting. Ballot issues Black Voters Matter founders Cliff Albright and Latasha Brown hope to change as we get closer to November 3rd. We're honest about that voting is not the panacea. It's not going to solve all our problems, but it is absolutely a tool to really be able to gain resources and power in our communities. Historically, black Americans face massive barriers when it comes to voting, but with recent racially targeted events across the country. Albright says the demand for change is weighing heavy on the black community. What they're seeing is that those demands have to go someplace. Right. Early voting has set record breaking numbers across the country. This tells us following the proverbial election wisdom that we're going to have a very high turnout on election day. But for Albright and Brown, there's still more work to do to make sure black votes are cast. The people have been been ignited. You can't stop. Now this tour will be making their rounds all throughout the weekend, not just here in Mobile, but in Birmingham, Huntsville and Montgomery. If you have any questions about where you need to go to vote on November 3rd and information about early elections, just head over to our website, WKRG.com and search for this story. But for now in Mobile, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5.